Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 50 of Baldur's Gate 3. That's um, amazing to have gotten to part 50 and we're not even close to the end, I think. Let's jump into this. Okay, so we're going to head back to uh, the circus. Um... As far as Bozo the Clown is concerned, actually, is there a waypoint closer? Um, we've got his torso, we can get his hands, and then everything else is in the lower city. So, let me just go get that quest, and then we can pick up his hand, and then, I guess, head to the lower city. All right, let's just brace myself for everyone's conversations. I don't think that's who we need to talk to. Is the circus back here though? That looks like a circus to me. Stinks of cheese. Hey. Between his piggy toes. Hey. How dare you? What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days, the finest extra planar circus there is. A circus! Can we go? This entire place practically vibrates with a familiar, excitable magic. You feel your patron giggle from afar. It's fey magic. I never pass up a chance for a bit of fairy mischief. I'd like to enter. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron! No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. You feel your patron bristle with a thousand briars at the rejection. It places some barbed words on your tongue. A weapon, should you need it. Unless you seek the wrath of the Seely Court, you will let me pass. Forgive me. <laughs> I must have uh, misspoken. <laughs> Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Yeah, about that. I mean, I guess technically I, I will be catching him in a sense. <laughs> All right, so there's a certain person we need to talk to, but I have forgotten their name. Don't think it's Zara the mummy. Is that a gin? That's kind of cute. I don't necessarily. Oh, 
Oh, it's kind of sad to see these guys hanging around. Yes, that's a circus for you though. Hold on, I'll come back and talk to the djinn in a hot second. I just am trying to find someone. I think it's this person. Thing? Ah, Lucille! It's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah. And Boris, Boris, put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Is this a circus act? We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, but these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Get it right this time, or I'll resurrect someone who can! Okay, so maybe we just have to collect the body parts. Itchy, is that scratchy? Cute. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, Alright, so his hand is apparently somewhere around here. Look for a hand. Yep, cloud severed hand. Oh, do we have to steal it? Well, hold on, that's not fair. So that's all we can get from here. Uh, Jahira's quest. Is also... Where is... Yeah, okay, so if I need to find more allies, I probably need to. I know you can get the gift lady somewhere in Boulder as well. Ho, 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 hungry little goblin. Want a treato? I has lots of treatos and magics and junks I find. Don't worry, I only take junks from dead people. I is nice. Yes, I have lots of stuffs just for you. You're gonna steal all my stuff? It's got broken loot, tongue of madness. Tabhole elixir. That's really cute. Bye bye now, come back to Papa soon. Okay, so we can find the gift. I'm I wonder if we can find Gale here too. Um Oh, okay. Where's the that's in the lower city. K 
kill to gain access to ball list murder tribunal. We found a list of people. If we kill two targets from this list and bring the severed... Um, yeah, no, we're not going to do that one. Uh, but I appreciate it if you do do it, I guess. This is what I'm after. Uh, okay, so she revealed the old friend. She'll search... Yep, when we reach the lower city. Um, we can now look for the other spawn that Astarian mentioned before. We should look for them in taverns and flop houses. Okay, so maybe we can do that, um, now. We reached... Oh, oh, Will wanted to talk. Well, oh hey, she's still with us, wasn't she? Oh, she's got a dog. Oh, that's so cute. Hold on. No, wait. Who? Oh, oh, you're the kid. Oh, who's mum? Okay, I thought it was the tiefling. Um, hi. It's me, Yena. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup! Of course you can stay, Yenna. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! We've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! That's cute. And... It's a cat, not a dog. Named Grub. That's very Always cute. Makes my day better. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? This is a new policy, then. Must be Gortash's doing. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one. Create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two. Shut the gates in the name of security. Step three. Bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. It seems Grand Duke Stelmane's been murdered. Did you know her at all? I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next, as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. Any idea who could be behind the killing? I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant's strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand and the city is made weaker for it. You must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. 
and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Kind of having a look everywhere. It's always interesting how the camps sort of spring up. Nice, there's Withers. Hello, my friend. Okay, let's head back. Uh, Alright, so I guess if we have a quick run around the flop house and Charis's caress or whatever it was. Okay, I'm assuming it's not going to be as simple as, like, vampiring. <laughs> yeah, that's upstairs. The cook, maybe? Alright, well, I guess we're just talking to people, maybe? Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. The buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. To be fair, their high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. What's your trade? Let me show you. Oh, okay, sure. Pleasure doing business. I can't believe I got kicked out of a temple. Okay, uh, I mean that was kind of helpful, but also not at the same time. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done, and our lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. I'ma hold my tongue. Isn't it obvious, sister? 
He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Astarian, stop. Nice. Wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. I'm glad you spared them. You sound surprised. I am capable of doing the right thing from time to time. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn, and Cazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Sometimes you scare me more than the Elder Brain does. <laughs> well, thank you, darling. But there's nothing to be afraid of. We're a team, after all. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. We're a team, I've got your back. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. You're a true friend. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Okay, uh, so I guess that's what we needed to do for that one. So we learned that Cazador plans to perform a ritual that will grant him incredible power. Uh, it's taking place in a defiled chapel beneath, Ca beneath Cazador's palace before turning to mist and disappearing. 
So I'm assuming his palace is in the lower city. Seems to be where everyone or everything is going, really. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I guess we could run over here and just see if there's anyone. It's just a matter of who. Okay, so it's not the citizens. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. I'm assuming this guild is the Shadow Guild. I might listen into their conversation. with the guild now heard nine fingers met a match the new kingpin old meat and muscle that one and wild as a werebear if he's looking to house nine fingers my blade's got his back sounds messy as the ninth hell must be why she called us to help is that right the way i heard it you zent cut a deal with the new hold on you there Getting up in our affairs. And you're airing private matters in a brothel. <laughs> She's got you there, Spoon. Don't matter. This discussion doesn't concern you. So why don't you make tracks? I'ma leave. Uh, Alright. All right, well, I guess the plan is to head to the lower city.